stuff. Yo, let's go. It's here. It's here, chat. I might have to turn it up a little bit. I just didn't want the music to, to be so loud. Where's Jeff? Where's Jeff? Show me Jeff. Welcome to the stage, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Keighley. <laughs> Does this man age? I swear he looks the same as he did 15 years ago. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. We are in person, and today we've can, got can everyone hear okay, or should I turn it up more? Games for you. We are live Turning off Los the... Angeles well, I'll keep the closed theater. captions on. It feels so good to be in person with a live fan audience for the first time ever. Welcome, everybody. Poggers. I turned it up quite a bit. When I started Summer Game Fest back in 2020 from a spare bedroom, I never imagined. <laughs> Dude, there's no way he just this. started it Today, himself. He's like, I built this stage with my bare hands. To show you what's next. This is a cross. It might have been his idea, but I'm sure he no called like 50 people. Games, <laughs> I hope you'll discover a new game to put on your wish list. The landscape of video game events has certainly changed over the past few years, but one thing has. Oh my God! If the there Game Awards kid was here, that would be insane. And our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, honestly, that's kind of hype. I'm it's not into hurts, fighting games, worry. but... Alan Wake 2, the reveal of Fortnite's okay. next season. And yes, we do have a very special grand finale that you're not going to want to miss. Okay. That's all I'll say right now. But let's get right to the games and gameplay. The first reveal is something... Aren't there 12 other Mortal Kombats? No. It that much this is exciting. the first one. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Mortal Kombat looped back around. What is this? Wait. Oh? Batan even, yeah, that's the guy. Prince has been kidnapped and taken to a forbidden land. Yeah, Prince of Persia? All hope rests with us. I mean, if it's the Prince of Persia, it is kind of exciting. I can't and lie. Save the Empire. Sorry, something just like fell on my foot. That was we weird. Prepared for what was coming next. Is this the remake finally? Then again, they weren't prepared for me. Or is this a new game? Yo, this looks kind of nice. I can't even lie. This looks fun. It is uh, Ubisoft, but... I genuinely kind of like that more studios are making, like, games like this. Is that crazy to say? Like, games that are just, like... Like, this, this looks like an updated PS2 game. But I, I think that's actually a good thing. In these times of darkness, hope is the only thing that keeps Yeah, cartoony games, but also just kind of like games that are a little like smaller in scope. And save the I don't know. Kyobu confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that actually looked sick. I, I can't even lie, that looks sick. We'll see, it's Ubisoft, but it looked kind of sick. There's a little surprise. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Okay, is coming good start. In January 2024, a brand new action adventure. Pretty soon, too. In the iconic series with deep combat, some huge boss fights, and of course, incredible platforming, puzzles, and animation, bringing a modern take on the legendary franchise. We'll Today take we'll it. We'll see more at Ubisoft Forward. I may have to make a financial decision. <laughs> All right, let's move along to another iconic video game franchise that just celebrated 30 years. That's right. It's time for Mortal Kombat. Oh, Mortal 1. Kombat. My my mind went to Doom. <laughs> but Doom Doom's 30 year anniversary one. was a few years ago, wasn't it? it no, I guess it was I guess it's this year, NBA isn't it? 1993. Team at NetherRealm have been hard at work on That would definitely be at the Xbox and Bethesda yet. conference though. The series into a new era timeline and it's coming this September. Yeah, this is the first Everyone game. What is he talking asking, about? What does it look like? 
Who's on the roster? How do the new cameos I'm guessing it's going to be well, a fighting game. It is time for combat. No spoilers, <laughs> but this video I know is nothing about Mortal Kombat. Insane. Here is an extended first look at the story. In a weird way, I feel like more games yes, are embracing course, the fact that they're games. The That's a good way to put it, actually. Yeah, I agree. Mortal Kombat 1. Let's do it. Kind of don't like how a good amount of studios go so hard in the OMG, it looks realistic. If I wanted the graphics to be realistic, I'd go outside. I feel like more uh, more studios are going against that now, though, which I like. Before I put you down. Fight. I mean, it looks like Mortal Kombat. It actually almost looks a little too realistic for Mortal Kombat. Funny that you say that. I wouldn't, I genuinely wouldn't mind if this was a little more, uh, cartoony. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want? But I have no strong opinions on Mortal Kombat, I'm not gonna lie. mine, and I won't give it up without a fight. Yo, that's kind of sick. I say as with zero intention to play this game. Too realistic for Mortal Kombat. Well, that's a sentence. I mean, it does. Other than like the actual like actions that are happening on screen, am I crazy to say that like these graphics are like weirdly realistic for Mortal Kombat? Like the graphical style is very grounded for the ridiculous shit that's happening. <laughs> okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang. Apparently, the Homelander and Ultraman Red. might appear in this game. God I did hear that. You guys don't need to at me, by the way. I, I read, I read chat. You have skills, Raiden. Especially during Raiden stuff like this. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. This is so cool. I wish I cared about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't even know who Ultraman is, but I do know who Homelander is. Oh, it's Omni Man. Okay. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? What? They sure are adding great dads to the game. Ultra Kill Brain Rot. <laughs> oh yeah. Ultra Man. I love Ultra Kill starring Ultra Man. Did their hands make a blade sound? I she had like she has blades, like she has like uh what do you call those? Not kunai. What is the name for those little knives? Daggers? I, no, I guess, but isn't there a name specifically for, like, that style of dagger? <laughs> like, I know the word dagger. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Throwing stars? No, she didn't have throwing stars. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Psy? Yes. It, maybe that's it. Yeah, Psy. I don't know if that's how you say that, but yeah, I think you're right. I swear it made a metal noise. Yeah, because it's metal. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> the gore, the gore is, uh... Yeah, that's what she had. They are, they're like tiny little pitchforks. She was holding those. That certainly was Mortal Kombat. Huge day for Mortal Kombat fans. Good, right guys? I mean, it, it did look cool. Now, I, I won't I'm play sure it, but it looked cool. Any questions about what we just saw and to tell you more, I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our industry. I actually have creators, zero questions. That looked like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> fan base for more than three decades. That answered everything Please I need to know. That is, in fact, a Mortal Kombat game. game. Fest, the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! How mortal is this game? 
I mean, there sure were a lot of people dying, getting their spines ripped out and shit. So, what's up, right, Left well, Juice? Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And everyone just wants to know more about Yeah, this. someone's first probably all, live subtitling. A, it's MK1, right? So, they're going to be a little behind. But... Tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many Mortal Kombat when Immortal Mortal Battle Kombat comes 11, out. Luke Kang Immortal Peace. Kind of <laughs> to like you know a fire god, right? And he's Mortal Wombat. He a brand new universe, and this universe. This is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat One, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. I'll check out that Blasphemous Two trailer analysis. Probably before, on my own but time, but a completely different story, and so. Sub Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up, so we're just kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Well, it looks okay. incredible. Everything we saw there. I don't was, feel like you, know, you need to justify game, that in a game like Mortal Kombat. Like it, nothing uh, really makes sense in that universe. So. This, but the thing we got to talk about from the outside looking in, cameos, it just seems like they could do whatever they want, and no one would really there. question so, how it. How does that work? You obviously you have your sort of your main, you know, character that you'll pick. Yeah, that's and for the five people that care about Mortal Kombat lore. Menu, so you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the game? Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, you'll you'll see a, oh. a roster, basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second roster of characters, which are a whole new... Arnold uh, isn't canon fighters anymore. ...fighters that are the cameo <laughs> fighters. And these fighters actually, they will join the fight... But they, a lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's kind of like imagine yourself with Sub Zero, but you have some of Jack's moves, and yeah. you can call him out. You can do it multiple times, as you saw in the gameplay. You okay. know, so you can piece, you, you can basically combine these two characters. That is kind all of the ridiculous. Can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see. That's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing. Jax you know, has arms again? Demos. Yeah, dude, well, so it's a different timeline. So you have your main, you have your cameo. How do you do you summon them? Is it time based? Like, how often do they come in? It's not a tag team thing, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning. Okay, them Jeff, this sure is a lot of talking when you said there wouldn't be that much talking. What happened? Push that button with towards, and it'll do a, a different move. Everything on my computer just froze. And so the combination. Hello? Oh, I we, see so you can bring them in a combo. Almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. And and so, and you see, there's like a meter. Oh, no, we missed the Mortal Kombat that, gameplay. Limited, so Darn. You can't obviously fire them indefinitely, but um, you call you can call them. They paid to have a moment want. to talk about and lore, have, probably. You know, like in the middle of a combo, they'll have a lot of, um, you know, basically. An whole I mean, I'm sure this is really hype Sony for people who are Mortal Kombat there. fans, Sometimes but it's just weird that it's like right away in the show. They're like, here's 15 minutes of Mortal Kombat. go through. You revealed some of them there, but are, it's a, is it a different set of characters that'll be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the characters are going to be available. I guess I'm being judgmental. I'm sure this well game is hype for some people. <laughs> play Sub Zero with Sub Zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can play. You can. Same thing with Scorpion. But a, a lot of our our cameo fighters are kind of like the second game, and we're 13 minutes in, right? So you'll notice Sonya and Kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes. Mortal Kombat so fans will be like, "No, this punching is very different." <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you guys saw uh, Goro. Yeah, Goro was, was in there. there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. So, so there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far cool. as getting. Cool. You know, um, we really love the. I'll be honest. It looks very really savvy to me. Yeah, I, it just feel, uh, uh, outside uh, looking in again, but I don't. I don't need all of this to tell me that it is in fact well, a Mortal of, Kombat uh, game. Nine of the old games. Let's talk. You confirmed, I think, or at least knowing that Jean Claude Van Damme is actually going to be. The name got a different font. This is Johnny huge. Cage, right? Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was Woo! people know the story. I mean, Bloodsport was such an inspiration for Mortal Kombat, so he oh, finally is now he's yeah, it, part it, of it. It's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the the first Mortal Kombat game we originally wanted to be Van Damme the video game, and that, oh my and that God. never really worked out. <laughs> So I, I can't tell you how many times over the so last So now that he's years, old and needs some him, money. <laughs> uh, you know, this close, like four or five times. And uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices, too. Wow. So you're going to hear John claude his voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working so hard in Chicago. Yeah, well, I'm not. COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? That's right. With this, this has been a very difficult uh Secret it's crazy to me that a, last, a dude named Ed makes and Mortal so, Kombat uh, in like, Chicago. <laughs> we could not be more excited in terms of. Uh, I just would have expected this to be uh, like a and, you know, like a Japanese-made game. A lot more content. Lot dude, more I can't even imagine that even Mortal Kombat fans you know, are so interested still at this point. <laughs> Amazing. Well, Ed, thank you so much for giving us the first look.
at MK1, as you said, this weekend people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage, lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos. All right, Jeff, roll uh, some trailers, Andrew, thank please. Thank you so much. First look at Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, Kombat made by Ed. Amazing. So excited about that one. All right. Next How long is the showcase? It's supposed to be two hours, I think. RPG fans with the release of Diablo 4, which is truly fantastic. Oh, I dude, I don't care about Diablo either. ARPG is Path of Exile 2 from Grinding. I also game. don't care about Path of Exile. Holy shit. The <laughs> Jeff, the show is supposed to be catered just to me and my chat's interest. On the sequel in over two years, <laughs> but that changes right now. Here is your first look at a raw gameplay capture from Path of Exile 2, a sequel that pushes the engine and gameplay to a new level. Whoa, a new level for Path of Exile? Let me guess, it's gonna be top-down ARPG. Oh, wow, how could I have guessed? <laughs> Where are the gods? Hey, you, what's going on? How could I have guessed? Dude, every ARPG is the same. Change my mind. <laughs> Which sucks, because I, I, I don't inherently hate, like, this style of gameplay. It's just that I feel like ARPG gamers know what they want, and it's the same thing every time. Is it weird that he mentioned Diablo 4 right before talking about Path of Exile? Does that strike anyone else as weird? It's like, hey, we know you're all enjoying this competitor's game, but guess what? <laughs> Seems really weird to me. Looks oh yeah, amazing. Hades too, true. Coming in July. Last week marked the release of Street Fighter VI, a game we featured last year at Summer Game Fest. Well, the team at Capcom has an important update to share with you right now. Well, DLC? Whoa, I can't wait to spend more money on Street Fighter. <laughs> oh. At first, at first I thought it was Raiden, and then I thought it was Kratos, and now I have no idea who it is. <laughs> I am the advanced artificial intelligence it literally just came out. Welcome to Pikitoa Island. This game came out last week. It was very important to show us the feat. So true. Okay, Robot Guile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> who the fuck cares? <laughs> Bro, for all two people that are excited for Exo Primal. Come on. Facing off against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's show. That Street Fighter. Oh, it wasn't, and for good reason, Jeff. The fall with the game coming out on July 14th. But guess what, guys? Yeah, that makes that no may sense to me. Actually, not be the craziest collaboration on the show. What? Exo <laughs> Primal is like a robot dinosaur game. I literally have only just heard of it. What is this? At least we're watching trailers now. Thank Christ you know. almighty. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's right. Nicolas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in July. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how these things happen, but... <laughs> Even he's like, it's kind of ridiculous. Is probably to go right to the source? Oh, don't, no, please tell me this there's not another interview. Creative choices have earned him an Academy Award. Wait, is he here? A few memes okay, on wait, wait, hang on. I should have let him cook. ...of incredible films. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicholas Cage! Holy shit. Okay, all right, this show just got better. <laughs> there he is. Thank you, everybody, thank you. Happy to meet you. Nick, I gotta say, welcome to the video game world. Oh wow, yeah, thank you. I'm so happy to be invited to your very my favorite very cool Nick club, everybody. <laughs> Finally, well, whenever there's a celebrity on these shows, they're like, "Oh, video games." Oh, okay. <laughs> how did this 
come back. I mean, some people be like, oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be in a Hideo Kojima game. But Dead by Daylight, I mean, how No, does this seems happen? very on brand for it's, Nick Cage. It's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And when I make movies, one of my favorite genres is horror. Is this how and he talks this, all the time? In that genre, <laughs> there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors in this game. And it's cool that, you know, it's, it really is this museum of horror. Michael Myers, you said all these different yeah. characters all coming together. Um, and you, do you, pl you play yourself or who do you play? What happened so to I his voice? This, I think that's just how he talks. Uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, uh, he's going to a location thinking he's making a movie and instead he wakes up in the fog. And in the fog, he's surrounded by crows and serial killers, and it's rather amusing. And there's something about it that I think, as a survivor, <sighs> is like a bonding experience. It's a bit like hide and go seek. You have your three other teammates who are survivors with you and you're, it's teamwork. You're working together to pull through and okay. I like that. And so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well. I'm sure that someone that just explained the game friend. to him and now he's explaining the game back, but at least he knows something you about it. <laughs> See, I want you to know when you're playing the Nick it's Cage rather amusing. survivor. I even have when you're choosing your skins. I even say, always remember. He never acts in the movies. Talent. Directors just build decorations around him and let him cook. So we're true. One, that we're fused. And so it was important to me that everything I do, everything I say, from the scream to the grunt, down to the most minimal, exasperated expression. Of, okay, he's uh, just describing how voice acting is, works. It's my voice, so that we are fused. <laughs> All right. Bully method, Nick Cage. I love it. Uh, I, I mean, this is so fun. This game, as you said, he would have been funny awesome as a killer. Character. You know, collaboration with so many different characters. I, I've For you, I mean, basically never played this game, game but like, do you know much about the video game? Something how old is he? He's probably like in his sixties, I think. Dead by Daylight enthusiast, okay. and and that really put the uh, hook in. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, Dead by Daylight to me was an opportunity to branch out. To I've never been invited. Into How this old is this game? It's been out for a I'm while. I mean, like five, six years. So this to me was like, wow, I can ma I make it. I can make. He looks like the villain audience, from Spy Kids One. Isn't that Ed Harris? Branch out and go on this Dead by Daylight adventure. I, I didn't say. It's Seven years old now. Thank but you. But a split second to say yes. And speaking he's about never played seconds, this game in his life. Yeah, but at least he's trying, right? Excuse me. Sinuses, uh, allergies. What I noticed <laughs> was that every move you make when you're doing this, when you're in the gaming space, it's it's timed down to the split second. It's an it's a very immersive experience when you're acting. He definitely out in knows space, more about it than move, I would have every expected. Run, every side you make. He knows about as much a, a, as I do about Dead by Daylight. Yep. So that was something that I learned from this, and I'm always looking to learn something. Keanu never played Cyberpunk. Yeah, but Keanu game. fucking Let's brought it for Cyberpunk. Who cares if he didn't play it? He fucking brought it. Nick, thank you so much. He's, he's like unironically really good in Cyberpunk, in my opinion. There you go, lock it in. Now, for all of you... That was awkward. Dead by Daylight, the chapter officially comes out on July 25th on PC and console, but PC players can try it earlier by downloading the player test build on July 5th. I think, I think Jeff really just wants to make this a stage show. At Nicolas Cage in Dead by Daylight. Cyberpunk's problem wasn't Keanu, it was Cyberpunk. I like Cyberpunk. You're, you're barking up the wrong tree here. I think it's a great game. It obviously had issues when it launched, but... <laughs> this is so surreal. <laughs> I played it during launch too, and I still enjoyed it. I, I had I had you know some bugs and stuff and a little bit of performance issues, but not not bad enough that I put it down. What is this goofy ass gameplay? Honestly, that is just dead by daylight. <laughs> right, thank you very much, Nick. Now lately we've been seeing an incredible number of video game adaptations. But back in 2019, The Witcher on Netflix, inspired by the Witcher book series, showed the potential of well done adaptations. Wait. Later this month, season three, volume one arrives. Oh, I don't care about this. The world premiere of the trailer 
introduced by Henry Cavill. I actually so don't care about this because they're getting rid of Henry Cavill. We are all gathered here today to share something with you. I don't think I've ever seen him with a beard. Season three, volume one debut. Deb <laughs> <laughs> volume one debuts on June 29th. Henry, on blink TV. twice if you're being held hostage. World premiere of our brand new trailer for season three of The Witcher. Thanks for tuning in to the Summer Games Fest and enjoy the trailer. Henry, blink twice if you're in danger. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of liked the first season of this show, but I heard the second season was awful and I just didn't even watch it. I'm not sure I will watch the third season either. This isn't a game. This is a Netflix show. Like, it'd be nice if season three didn't suck, but then they're switching out Henry Cavill for some other dude. Liam Hemsworth. Who cares? Like, who, who's going to watch beyond the third season? Oh, yeah. Henry Cavill's amazing. Everything that's happening. And he clearly cares a lot about the character and the source material, but the, the show around him is, is not good. No, they're not. This isn't a game. This is just a show. Are you sure about this? Are you... It's also supposed to be an adaptation of the books more so than the game, but I've read the books and the show is not like the books. <laughs> not enough, at least. Oh, come on. <laughs> the hell was that? Maximum cheese is what it was. Random slow-mo. Yeah, I hope it's not like that in the show, but it probably will be. For the first time, I understand real no, that that's the thing, Mast. I totally agree with you because, like, that's what people want. People want just a, an accurate adaptation. They just want to see, like, the, the, what the franchise they love on the screen. They don't want to have, like, some new transformative experience. Nobody wants that. It's ridiculous. Same thing with Halo. I'm not gonna lie, Dandelion kind of looks awful this season too. Because <laughs> he looks like he's, uh, he looks like he's seen some shit. There's a Witcher show? Brother, there's been a Witcher show. The writers want to get popular by spinning it to their direction and then get famous for it? It like almost always has the opposite effect. Okay, what is this? That's quite a resume. Wait, we just went right into this. Did it say Epic Games? Oh no. Yeah, Bullet Storm is is crazy. <laughs> oh, it's um this is uh Witchfire. This game looks fun actually. It's too bad it's going to be epic exclusive. Like, th this is very down my alley, though. Like, this is some shit I would, I, I would easily play if it wasn't epic exclusive. I might still play it if I can get, like, a review code or something, but... No, it looks fun. It, it actually looks fun. PlayStation VR 2. Shrimply pirate, yeah. I, I mean, for me, I have so many things to play, I just won't play it. it. Unless I can get, like, a review key, I'm not giving Epic money. We've had one new game in 30 minutes, right? Yeah, that Prince of Persia trailer really was the best thing. Is this actually just a PlayStation VR ad? Or is there a game being announced here? Oh, Crossfire. Wow, dude. 
<laughs> Get off my screen. <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> Jeff, what are you doing, bro? I don't care about I don't care about a monitor. Announce some games. <laughs> bro, E3 died for this? Okay, Remnant. The root will destroy. Okay. I already knew about this game, but I mean, at least this is an exciting game. Is this a new trailer? I haven't seen this gameplay before. Man, the enemies look so much more engaging than the first game. No turning back after this. You sure? Yeah, this stream will get banned for the ads. So true. I'm watching this on YouTube, but I guess I am restreaming it on Twitch. Yeah, the combat looks way improved. Okay, that looks like some of the bosses I didn't like from the first game, but, you know, we'll see. We'll have an open mind about it. You could say this is the remnants of E3. Facts. Some of the, like, mech stuff is, like, weirdly out of place, but I'm not, I'm not, like, opposed to it. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm excited. Okay, I mean, I knew that game, I knew about that game already, but at least that was a cool trailer. All right, we have much more Summer Game Fest to come, including a first look at the gameplay of Alan Wake 2, the world premiere of the new season of Was that Fortnite, a release date reveal, or, uh, and maybe a or was the release date already revealed? As I mean, July is crazy, reveals, that's so soon. Use the hashtag gaming on TikTok on TikTok to react to the news. And we want to welcome everyone co streaming the show live on TikTok, <laughs> Twitch, YouTube, and other platforms. For those of you on Twitch, we also have a special Warframe Twitch drop. Where is the announcement of Haunted Warframe Chocolatier from Concerned Ape? So true. Show. Now, speaking of surprises, another legendary gaming hero is set to return later this year in a brand new game built from the ground up in a style that I think is going to get this fan base and longtime fans of video games Kay. very excited. Here's another Summer Game Fest global game announcement. New Finally. With a classic feel. Okay. Oh, that isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Sonic! It looks good. Like, uh, I mean, it's 2D Sonic, which is almost always better than 3D Sonic. I do like 2D Sonic. Yeah, so, no, Sonic Adventure 2 being good is not a hot take, but that's, like, the only good 3D Sonic. I heard Frontiers was okay. What is this? That's a, that's a different game entirely. This has some, like, 2.5D shenanigans going on. Sonic Adventure 1 is the best 3D Sonic. I, I actually haven't played it, but I did like Sonic Adventure 2. That actually didn't look too bad. What if Sonic had a gun? Different story. So true. How about that? A new standard I'm not a huge Sonic, Sonic fan, but I, I've enjoyed a Sonic game or two in my day. This past Jeff, what April, happened? Honkai you're frozen. Star Rail launched, and as you're about to see, oh, the game is no, an dude. exciting new character. Get this gotcha shit RPGs. off my screen. However, we don't just have a new peak for current players, but also for those awaiting the game's release on PlayStation. Take a look. Um, I actually think Sonic 06 is the best 
3D Sonic, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Don't you get bored running across the map every day? I'm bored. Oh yeah, I'm bored, all right. Team Trailblaze, Don't you get bored running across the map every day? You should spend more money. More money. Dude, I can't believe people play these games unironically. It's basically Genshin Impact. I mean, it's made by the same people. I think the gameplay is a lot different, but it's all it's all a means to an end, which is just getting you hooked on that gotcha goop. I'm tired of this art style? Yeah, but gotcha fans aren't. And they're the ones with the money. This isn't Genshin? No, it's not. This is Honkai Star Rail. Which I, I have to say is a horrible name. <laughs> Who came up with that? JRPG names in general are the fucking worst. Honkai Star Fail. Yeah, guys, it's not Genshin. It's totally different. Come on. Wanna see them Honkai Donkais? Oh my god. What the fuck am I watching? Peak gaming, my friend. <laughs> Doesn't it make you want to spend money on just a chance to unlock one of these cool characters? Later this year, I'm that logo goes, goes kind of hard, I won't even lie. Story of Pinocchio, Liza P is a Souls Liza P? game from the team at NeoWiz, which is coming to Game Pass, PlayStation, and PC this year. Well, okay. I'm, exactly I'm back, when, Jeff. I'm back. News to share with you on its release. Release date. Brand new trailer. Yeah, dude. Lies of P. <laughs> Lies of P poo coming. We're back. I repeat, the hype hype levels are restored. Truths of R when. <laughs> oh, did he say Game Pass? I'm surprised it's not at Xbox then. French cringe. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, a big guy with a sword. We are so fucking back. I love Souls Likes, dude. <laughs> just give me a game that's just an endless series of big guys with swords, and I'll play it forever. <laughs> I wish I was lying, but... Damn! Game with big guys with swords is Elden Ring, my friend? Yeah, but Elden Ring ended. That's the problem. And there's also a... A much less large woman with a sword that I don't like. I hate her. I hate her. <laughs> She's mean. That was kind of hype. Release date. Release date. Release date. Where's the actual gameplay? There's been September 19th. All right. Uh, there, there's already been a lot of gameplay. What is her name? You know, I can't remember. That's right. I can't remember. Demo for Lies of if only she reminded me every so often what her name was. Xbox and PC. Check it out and prepare for the release. It is on Game Pass. Let's go. Now it's time for the reveal of a visually stunning new game based on a classic manga with a <laughs> the lady with the big sword. I can't remember. I can't. I can't remember either. Anime artists of all time. Demo. This oh, did it say a demo was out? Lucky we get to reveal. The Ooh. first time here at Summer okay. Games, and I think you'll be pretty hyped once you see the gameplay all built in Unreal Engine 5. Here we go. Okay, I heard anime. But, alright, it's a new game at least. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, I'm, I'm not actually like, like I don't hate anime, I don't really watch it that much myself. But you have to admit, even if you're an anime fan, anime games generally kind of suck. <laughs> uh, the, the style of the game is not doing it for me. 
I don't know, something about like the cartoonish characters in realistic environments is not doing it for me. I mean, realistic. Yeah. I don't know, this looks like an MMO. <laughs> yeah, combat looked kind of decent there. Yeah, I don't- this- this game- I can already tell you this game is not for me. Sandland. I'm telling you, dude, the names of JRPGs are not real. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> Who comes up with these names, bro? Sandland. That cannot be the real name. That cannot be the real name. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Sandland. Sandland. Get ready to become an unlikely hero in an adventure where you don't need to be human to save humanity. And now to bring, uh, now bringing to the stage down. Sandman John, the star of Sandland. Independent games are such an important part of the industry, and one thing that's Tell me that's not the only Bandai game. Well. <laughs> After the live sh show, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I'm 8-Bit and Double Fine with some incredible indie game reveals. Now, one of the biggest independent publishers is Annapurna Interactive. And later this month, as part of Summer Game Are they Fest, even considered indie anymore? of ambitious new projects. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. Thank you for the follow, Underman. Anything exciting in the fest yet? Genuinely that- oh. Oh, th these are already released games. Uh, genuinely that Prince of Persia game looked like it slapped. Stray 2? I'd love, like, some Neon White DLC news or something, but... Or Neon White 2, I mean, hell yeah, I'd settle for that. These are all, like, released games, though. Okay. Maybe finally some good fucking food. Oh, it's an announcement for their panel. Wonder Are you shitting me? Was at the end. We'll find out later this month. <laughs> All right. Next, we're stepping into the world. It's literally of an announcement for an announcement. PC and console MMO RPG no, from NC Soft to Amazon games with an always changing environment, massive scale <laughs> PvP. Are we? Is is it, are we serious? <laughs> the battle across land, sea, and air. Here's a look. Jeff, I don't care. <laughs> Jeff, do you think you can hear me? Jeff, please show me a real game. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks so generic. <laughs> I, don't, I almost feel like you can't make a generic, a more generic looking game in a fucking lab. There's no way, dude. Their power. Oh, the Remnant trailer was cool, too, but, like, I already knew about Remnant, too, so... Is this what MMO players want? <laughs> you could show me this and tell me it's, like, literally any popular MMO from the past ten years, except maybe WoW, and I'd just believe you. I'd be like, oh, this is Guild Wars? Okay, cool. Oh, this is, uh, Black Desert Online? Okay, cool. Oh, this is Final Fantasy XIV? Okay, cool. I believe you. <laughs> it is Amazon Games, yes. Why are they just making- Because didn't they- they made, uh... I'm trying to think. They made, uh, New World, and then they bought, like, that Ark, Ark game, whatever the fuck it was called. Have they only made generic MMOs? So far, yes. I heard they were working on a tactical shooter, but I haven't, like, heard any news on that. 
This looks like something you'd see people in sitcoms play or something. Looks great. Steam decks for you right now, but on June 19th, Jeff said it all. Steam Looks Next great. Does return, giving fans a chance to try out hundreds of new and then the games. and then the crowd. Woo! The free-to-play medieval fantasy sword fighting game Warhaven from Nexon, which lets you transform into supernatural immortals. Here's a new look. You kind of lose me at free. To this looks like the last game. This literally looks exactly like the last game. Oh, and it's Nexon. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, this trailer is already better than the last one, but the bar was on the floor. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Honestly, not really. <laughs> this has been really bad so far. Whatever, like, is getting announced at the end better be fucking earth-shattering. Yo, Forspoken multiplayer? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Elden Ring DLC when? We can only hope. Stay strong, chat. All the bad stuff is usually in the beginning. The Prince of Persia game was kind of hype, but I wouldn't exactly call that like a like a huge announcement either. Like that pretty much looked like an indie game. Was that Melania Blade of Mikola? Oh, I just remembered her name. Weird. Or Haven, dude. <laughs> oh, you can play it for free for Steam Next Fest. Wow. I love I love Twitch streamers. Haha. -ha. Where am I? Where's Dumpster Man? I guess I didn't play this game, whatever the hell this is. Shut up, streamer. Gamers have finally been represented. Rip off gang beasts. You know what's kind of fun is uh, Rubber Bandits. That's a pretty good game. That's the only game like that I've played. Pilgrims. It is knockoff gang beasts. Cool oh, stuff here you go, Siphon. Here's Dying Light. Get ready for darker, more dangerous nights and roaming volatiles. Okay. Improved parkour. Rolling out with the next rubber bandits is really game. fun, yeah. Then, right after that, we'll I know someone who speed runs like rubber bandits, that's before. funny. Trust me, for one of them you will want to get your butt barbed wired. Very soon, you will get the deadliest summers to date. Hello? What? Oops. I don't know what- why did it stop? Hello? That was all there was. He said something about getting your butts barbed wired. That was it, though. That was literally it. There was no no news, other than to barbed wire your butts. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like that level in Ultra Kill. That's not news. I do that on the regular. Yeah, I... Cool, dude. A Lost Ark. That's the game. That's the other Amazon Games one. But I'm pretty sure they didn't make it. They just bought the rights to it. Or something like that. Published it, maybe. I don't know. Because it was already being made. And then they, like, took it over. Not to flex on anyone or anything, but I had the Crash Summer Bandicoot Game Skylander Fest when I was way, 10. Crash Holy Team shit. Is gonna feature playable Ripper Roo and Engine. Neo Cortex is right Jeff, come on, I'm I'm dying here. Now Jeff, give me just a just a drip of dopamine. Topic and descend into madness. Joining me is a guy who was last Bloodborne. on stage at the Game Awards 2021 <laughs> to announce He's talking Halloween about Bloodborne, too. guys. He's come all the way from Finland. Please welcome from <laughs> Remedy. Haha, <laughs> Miyazaki was in Finland, right? Oh, Sam, oh, Sam Lake, okay. Alright, well, I I'm not into Alan Wake, but this is fine. 
At least this yep. is something. Looking <laughs> dapper as always. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are so excited because when you announced uh, Alan Wake at the game, or Alan Wake 2 at the Game Awards, you said 2023. We are in 2023. And realized it's Sam Lake was October, finished. And we are so excited about the Sam. I know it's been a long time coming from. It just sounds like an American game or American years name. Since the first Alan Wake. So tell us a bit about what can we expect in the sequel. It's been quite a journey, yes. Yeah. Um, Alan Wake 2 is Remedy's first survival horror game. We have two playable characters. It's a 50-50 split between them. 50-50-50 split? They are on their split? own separate terrifying journeys through two different worlds, and yet it's all connected. Mm. And the player gets to switch between them at given points in the, in the story, as they choose. Sam, the audience is on the other side. Yeah, I think so he and Jeff are going to uh, start making out or something. Uh, Saga, the, the second character. Uh, tell us a bit about her. She's All I know about Alan Wake is that Video Game Donkey living, said uh, uh, that he is one of Alan two people to play it, and I believe it. Well, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good question exactly. to ask okay, going okay. into this. <laughs> so, yes, we, we have Alan Wake, our yeah. title character, of course, trying to escape from the nightmare dimension yes. of the dark place. Yes. And then we have The Saga, dark place? That can't be the hero. real name. FBI agent. Thank you for the follow. I really uh, like coming bread. Coming to the Pacific Northwest small town of Bright Falls together with her partner, yes. Alex Casey. Okay. This is neat and all, but are you going to so show I, any game? Somehow linked in some way, right? Uh, they are coming to investigate. Were they supposed to applaud the there? Because he like nodded all smugly and uh, nobody clapped. And, and very quickly, <laughs> the investigation turns into a nightmare when they discover... Fate nah, this game isn't really story. Max Payne. Oh, uh, this guy. Yeah, he does look like Max Payne, though. That's true. Missing writer. Uh, initials AEW. People want to see and Jeff shows to see games. I know, right? Uh, around them. Interesting. So obviously, it's you know, Alan is still going to be playable in the game. You're going to experience. His I mean, they should have started this off with a trailer or something if they wanted to actually hype this up. Because I, I think there are people hyped for Alan Wake too, but this is just a bad way to introduce it. Like why he's just talking about it. Yeah, we we go into the experience playing as as Saga, okay. and and it's a sequel. But it's also a standalone experience. We are not expecting. I think. I think that's why I thought this guy was American, is because he he looks. He basically okay. is Max Payne, uh, right? Enjoyed, uh, as he is. Saga doesn't know anything about the lore. About was Max Payne actually like bottled after him, or does he just look like Max she Payne? Be going in very quickly, she has to learn. No, to he survive. is. He is Max Payne. Okay. That, players, or at least like uh, Max Payne is made to look like him. With, with her, and and uh, then we open up the experience so that you can hope to play Alan Wake in the dark place okay. uh, as he's trying to find his way out. And you can keep on playing as Saga in the Pacific Northwest. I, I haven't, I haven't really goes followed on. any of this, but maybe you would if you had played them. Alan Wake 1. <laughs> yes. uh, in many surprising ways, but there is no <laughs> right way to play through this. You can choose. You you can go on as as Alan all the way close to the end. Or yeah, I feel like or Jeff Jeff cares more about how he looks on stage uh, than Alex actually like conversing so with the people he brings on. Challenging, interesting narratives in unique ways. I mean, Remedy's always been known for that, and you especially. So we can't wait to see how these stories intertwine. I'm sure throughout the experience today, though. I know you brought with you some some. As I remember, they just glue his photo on the model in game. A, a yeah. Yeah. No, he does. It, you're yeah, right. Now that you pointed out, that is he literally is Max Payne. <laughs> early on from the experience, <laughs> they're hyped, uh, Sam. They're ready for it. So tell us, what what are we going to see? What, what uh, supernatural forces of darkness have uh, okay the murder victim <laughs> uh, in this case back to life as a monster. And and uh, Saga is outside Pride Falls. Literally me. Lake, <laughs> trying to Pity find applause. Him and stop him. I don't know. I and think some that, people are hyped for Alan Wake 2, but it's weird that they didn't lead gameplay. with the trailer. Alan Wake 2. Thanks, Sam. Oh, it's gameplay. Okay. Please, dude. I, just Armored Core, Elden Ring, anything. That, that's all I ask, Jeff. Wow, this truly is unedited. <laughs> There's ain't nothing going on. I 
Guy, it wouldn't it wouldn't have killed you to edit it a little bit. <laughs> Make it look at least a little interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being mean. Like yeah, a PC cold. Bloodborne remake, Jeff. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Trapang 2 is is literally an entirely different genre. But true, I agree. It does look better than this. <laughs> Silk song copia, bro. Keep on coping. I know they're, like, trying to build suspense, but, like, you don't have to just stand there and look at the house. <laughs> the game does, like, graphically looks very nice, though. I'll give it that. It's just not... This is just not my cup of tea. <laughs> That's kind of a funny jump scare. <laughs> okay. And then there's a deer man. Neon White DLC. I didn't even imagine that would be here, but now I'm kind of like, please. Well, if anything, that'll be at the at the Annapurna uh, panel that's in like three weeks that they announced. Yeah, this does actually look like a, a lot like uh, Resident Evil remake gameplay, but slower and less interesting somehow. I, mean, I say somehow. I, implying that Resident Evil Remake gameplay didn't look interesting. It actually does, but... But, I mean, survival horror has never been known for its, like, fast-paced, thrilling, uh... Well, it's thrilling in a way, I guess. Gameplay. I'm just putting my foot in my mouth while knowing nothing about the survival horror genre. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Don't listen to me. My opinions on survival horror are probably bad, because it's not a genre I... <laughs> I know anything about. The text on the heart I'm just talking shit because the genre is very much not for me. I knew it would be here. I kind of want to play the new Amnesia though. I don't. That just didn't. I'm glad you're didn't look like anything to me. Killer left a message. It's for us. We were all trapped in a horror story. I loved the Amnesia of the, the Dark Descent. I haven't played it in a long time, but I, I loved it when I played it. Something I'm and I'm not a horror game guy. Something important. Yeah, the one that's Something free is uh, Machine for Pigs, and that game sucks. <laughs> a okay. long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam. Helen is typing. First look at gameplay. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. Okay, all right. I'm actually mildly interested in this. I didn't play the first one, but I do like Warhammer and... They engaged us on two planets. Space Marine... The new Space Marine looks decent. straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Tell me this is gameplay. I mean, it looks pretty fun. I heard the first Space Marine was decent. Yeah, I spoke too soon. This is gameplay. At first it wasn't, but now it is for sure. <laughs> Man, 40k just looks so good. Like, the aesthetics of 40k are amazing. Yeah, it, it does look- it does look a lot like Gears of War. I thought these games were more, like, melee combat focused, but I've been seeing a lot more, like, guns. So... I don't know, standing in place and just shooting in a third-person shooter is not exactly my idea of fun, but... Could be good. I don't know. Okay. I just like when they go right into a trailer. <laughs> I like this art style. It's 
a neat, it's a neat art style. I'm getting the feeling there might not actually be much gameplay here, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, is it turn-based? Wait, what is this? This isn't even combat. This is like... King Simulator. No, a game on mobile wouldn't wouldn't look like this. Katana Zero prequel. It could be a kingdom game, yeah. Yes, your grace, Snowfall. Oh, that's a sequel to... Right? Did, isn't there a Yes, your grace game that already exists? Beautiful. Nice art style. Didn't really look all that appealing gameplay-wise, but... Game announcement, and this one comes from the minds of Saber Interactive, Focus Entertainment, and yes, horror master John Carpenter. It's a brand new world, hmm. a brand new story. All right. It looks like a heck of a lot of fun. Check this out. It's brand, brand new IP, or what's going on here? Better than generic MMO7. Agreed there. We gotta be ready. Nobody half asses it this time. Oh, this dialogue. <laughs> Ruby. Just don't. Do we need dialogue in trailers ever? I feel like as this trailer goes on, I'm becoming less and less interested. I don't know. Okay, they said they said John Carpenter, and I was interested, but it just it's just a horde shooter. Did I miss something? Redfall 2? No, bro, this is Back for Blood 2. Has this guy made anything good before? John Carpenter? I mean, John Carpenter is like one of the greats of like horror cinema. Uh, Games-wise, though, I don't even know if he's worked on other games. But no, this... This doesn't look very interesting. Also, am I crazy or is the game running at like 10 frames per second? More unexpected collaboration. Jean Carpenter. What is this? Jeff, Jeff Commando, like, seems. I don't know. Why is he laughing? I'm going to eat right. some cashews, chat. Brings the long ah. Full 1.0 release of Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, and hey. Today, a new member this game been out in early access for a minute, but... Lord Ember Gortash, the commander of a I'm actually excited to play this when it releases in full. I, I don't usually buy this studio's game games in, uh, in early access, but... Sorry, chat. I'll try not to eat into the mic, but I'm hungry. I'm having some cashews. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend Divinity the Original Sin 2 is really good. Well, I need to play more of that game, but I, I enjoyed both Divinity Original Sin 1 and uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 of what I played. A new age is upon us. Gods have mercy on those who would stand in our way. A mad dog understands the yank of the leash and the hand of its master, but it cannot be an equal. You Am I supposed to know who this guy is? Equal. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. I want to lead this city to glory. I didn't recognize him. Scorches Earth. Friends, Does anyone know? Allies, to my side. Let us usher in a new dawn. This city is mine. I'm not ready to call you enemy. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Okay. Maybe that would be hype if I had, if I had played any of this game. Wow. Wow, indeed. I answer to Gortash. All 
Baldur's Gate 3 is on track, Sven tells me, still for the end of August, and we can't wait to check that out. All right, this fall, Marvel Games and Insomniac are set to bring Spider-Man 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Sounds like you guys a are PlayStation a exclusive. Tell us more. Brian Intahar, game director at Thank Insomniac. Everyone. Brian, thanks for coming by. I know you got well, Brian, thanks so much for Thank stopping by. I know you got a lot of work to do. Yeah, the, the combat the in God of War Ragnarok actually looked really fun. But there's sometimes 30 dates. minutes, 45 right. minutes, an hour now, between combat. World, <laughs> you know? Open world survival crafting game where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called POW who can also fight. In other words, Kind of like Pokemon with guns. And Wait, is this Pal World? Then we're gonna look at I feel the like this game is gonna light. suck, but it looks hilarious. Black Online, which recreates okay, I was joking about Black Korea's Desert Online, Joseph dude. Dynasty. Who actually cares about that game? <laughs> no, Pal World actually looks hilarious. Uh, uh oh. No, I actually wanna see this one. Cause this game is hilarious. Don't, why did you freeze? Why are you freezing? Stop doing this. It is, <laughs> it's actually, it's actually Pokemon with guns. I'm telling you, I think this game is going to be hot dog shit, but it's hilarious. And it's got anime girls. Everyone in chat loves anime girls. Wow, after all this time, it's going to be in early access? I mean, sure, why not? Sekiro 2. <laughs> no, no, this is Black Desert. That's right. <laughs> Clearly Sekiro 2. I feel like every everything I've seen of this game, it looks beautiful, uh, like visually, and horrible to play. Horrible to actually experience. But I just hate MMOs also. Literally couldn't give a shit about MMOs. MMOs really be like, you want to only play one game ever? <laughs> it is time we told it ourselves. With hammer and axe, we mine and sculpt. Rock and stone? Oh no, it's another, it's another licensed Lord of the Rings game that nobody asked for, just like the Gollum game. Moria. Although this one actually, I mean, it's like a survival crafting game, which, eh, but it's, it has to be better than Gollum, right? Like there's literally no universe where this is worse than Gollum. Come my fellow dwarves, rally together. It's time. We took oh, his name's Sam after Samwise from Lord of the Rings. See, another another licensed Lord of the Rings tie-in that nobody asked for. Gamer guy. <laughs> We've already seen this, bro. There's no way they paid for two slots. <laughs> the dwarf can dodge roll, though? True, it's a Souls-like. We've literally seen this exact ad. And this one! What is going on, bro? Summer Games Fest announce a game challenge. Impossible. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, this is Summer Game Fest, not Summer right, Monitor now Fest. Look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary franchise. I'm broken, Jeff. I am broken.
Wait, what happened? Did it freeze again? Why is it doing this? Please, dude. Please. <laughs> Who asked for Final Fantasy Mobile? Who asked? Wow, is this actual gameplay? This looks surprisingly good for a mobile game. Not good as in fun to play, but... <laughs> Giant heads. Why are the boots huge? This bro has uh, never seen Final Fantasy before. Or Kingdom Hearts, even better. Kingdom Hearts has fucking gigantic shoes. They had that, like, Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer, and Sora's shoes were normal size. That was crazy. For Final ever I need more cashews. <laughs> I need, I need some sort, sort of stimulation. I just want to feel something. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today during you shouldn't have said Fest, that, Jeff. Dash, back. Get, <laughs> you can get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GAMEFEST. Plus, Ooh, no! get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16 prize pack. DoorDash. Whoever wrote that game. line just... Yep, we got you. All right. Now, here's a look at a game we debuted last year at TGA. Banishers, Ghosts of You Moody, cannot say that, bro. Ghost Hunters in the Haunted Wilds of North America. What is this? Life to the living, death to the dead. We are banishers. We end suffering. This is a real game, right? We bring closure to those who don't. I want us back, Red. Wow. Right? Revenge on what killed me. I want to live. Wow, Forspoken was such a big hit that now we're getting all the Forspoken likes. I don't think I will. So the day. Conquer in Shidewa. Anatagonomi no Tanjun that Shikara Shigoto des. This is Yakuza? I haven't played these games. Kago Shite Itadakimas. Tanomi Mashta Yu. Kodo name Jodi. Five people clap for that last one. Yakuza is a series I want to get into, but I'm very like intimidated by it. Just because there's so many games and they most of them seem like they're really long. But I do respect Yakuza. They seem like very cool games. Let me just turn this off. You can't like read the subtitles even. You know what game I really want to play on stream? <laughs> Dude. Is he just beating up pedestrians? What the hell was that? You know what game I really want to play on stream is Sifu. My game seems awesome. Yeah, Sifu looks amazing. 
Like a dragon gated, the man who erased his name. <laughs> okay. I mean, it looked cool. I'd probably be pogging if I was a big Yakuza fan. It is 7.32 a.m. I hope you have a productive Is it Gaiden? Is that how you say that? Change username <laughs> to just spam. Adjusting morning wake up. Ah, Good finally, morning. the game just adaptation stand. of uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou or whatever. Green across the board. I've been waiting for this forever. Definitely a leak here, Tim. <laughs> No, this looks like... How long I don't know, it looks like Outer Wilds underwater or some shit. Two months and 17 days. This is at least interesting. What sort of operation are they running down here? They shouldn't be here. This looks Someone charming. Here? This doesn't make sense. Someone no, it's definitely not Subnautica, but it looks decent. Fucking at least doesn't look like every other game that has been a, like at this event so far. It's a beautiful new game cool. under the waves, sure. and today, incidentally, is World Ocean Day. Fun fact. All right, next, Call of Duty. Well, there's a new Call of Duty coming this fall, along with Warzone. Yeah, you're Bubble. definitely not today alone there, not the being able to play Subnautica. A I, I'm not too Warzone bad with Warzone underwater stuff, and therefore Here's I was able to play Subnautica, game, but to this day, I've played, like, straight-up horror games, and I still consider Subnautica to be the scariest game I've ever played. <laughs> like, yep. genuinely. Check it out. Here you go. There's just something about the, like, world of Subnautica. Bro, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, Subnautica is amazing. That, that's one of the best single gaming experiences I've had in my life. Just that first playthrough of that game. What about Soma? I haven't played it, actually. I should, but I haven't. Does anyone actually care about COD? That's the thing. Yes. The better question is, why do people still care about COD? <laughs> is Soma super cheap right now? I think I might already own it, I just haven't played it. But if I don't, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, I really need to... Um, I really need to play Control Alt Ego. I know that has nothing to do with Soma, but I was just thinking about it. That's a game that I, I keep neglecting to buy when it's on sale, and I really need to. Season four next week. Today is a fake immersive sim fan because I haven't played it. <laughs> Porsche, the iconic German automaker, turned 75 years old today, and to celebrate their contribution. Dude, it's like Jeff knows exactly space, what I hate: is car games and Call of Duty. <laughs> Xbox has teamed up with Porsche for a limited edition run of 75 consoles inspired by six famous Porsche race cars. And I'm thrilled yeah, to this is kind of cool. The first design is System today, Shock good? I haven't played it yet. I want to really, I, I really want to play the, uh, the hundredth running of the twenty-four um, hours of Le Mans. The new one, the look. remake. And I got a key for it, so I, I'm sort of obligated to play it. I wanted to finish Prey first, though. Can I free bird? You can do whatever you want, Blue Knight. Lord knows. <laughs> I can't charge. Charge. I can't charge. Lord, I can't charge. Won't you fly ye high I free ye by a year? <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Brian really took some liberties with that last one. Here it is. God damn. The Porsche Xbox Series X. These custom consoles are not for sale. Chai you can enter for a chance to win one right now at Porsche. That was Xbox the most entertaining thing to stream. Agreed. Sure stay tuned for the Porsche and Xbox social channels for additional opportunities. And I'm the streamer. Hands on these special consoles. All right. Yeah, that doesn't Next. look very good. That's a cool Phoenix idea, but the, the it doesn't actually look good. Cozy farm sim genre. We all like a cozy game inspired by classics like Animal all right, where's Crossing Britta? Stardew Valley. Maybe Britta Previously will like this one. <laughs> There's now some exciting news for PC players too. Let's take a look at Fate Farm. 
I actually kind of have a soft spot for, like, this type of game, but I don't know, man. This one looks like a mobile game. <laughs> Stardew Valley is fucking base, though. I liked, uh, I liked the game Core Keeper, too. I wouldn't say that was, like, this same type of thing, though. I've been itching to explore. Yeah, I don't know that we really need more of these. There's already so goddamn many. As long as we're prepared, we can face anything. So, what do you say? There's so much yet to discover. Are you ready? I'm ready. Slime Rancher's kind of sick, too. Yeah, for sure. We promised variety. There it is. Fae Farm and Mortal Kombat in the same show. Damn, oh, yeah, bro. What, what, what variety? Now, please welcome Ben Brode, Chief Development Officer and Flannel Enthusiast at Second Dinner, the developers behind the popular collectible card Why does game keep freezing? Marvel Snap. What's up, Ben? Man, you guys Just when I think it can't get worse. I saw you was at the Game Awards when you won uh, Best Mobile Game. Uh, seems like you've been very busy. It did We're freeze, you're right. Spider-Verse content you've been doing. Lots going on over there, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting. We've been doing a bunch of new features, some of the wildest cards we've ever made, and uh, yeah! some new game modes. Yeah. Yeah, new game. Is that is that a segue, Ben? Certainly, yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm Certainly. <laughs> Marvel Snap's biggest update Bro, ever. this guy, I don't even uh, like this game. game. This guy's bringing me back. Next week, it's conquest mode. It's a great way to get a super Just like, stop experience. yelling, bro. You have uh, a microphone. New rewards. Marvel but Snap you know my neck, week. please. <laughs> Marvel Snap. Go down the right now on your mobile device or early access on Steam. You guys have right, phones, man. right? I love the enthusiasm, Ben. <laughs> That's you. That's what I got. You're made for YouTube. All right. Well, we heard you brought uh, something. You're fun, made for uh, YouTube. <laughs> Jeff, oh, said, Jeff said that yeah. with like disdain. So, listen, God damn. I am incredible at card games, so I often win. Uh, but some I, people, I am a god among maybe men. Experience, Jeff. Uh, some people lose. Yeah. Okay. Fair. And I like to think it's because they suck. No offense. Jeff. <laughs> sometimes, based. Sometimes, based. Sometimes. Hold, hello, base department. A little bit <laughs> unlucky. Cue the tape. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, snap. Okay, I don't have an ideal <laughs> okay. of cards here, but Pro Z D, I like this guy. What I draw in future turns. Anyway, let's reveal the first location. Lamuntus one. Each player destroys their deck. Okay, I guess I will work with what I have. I'll play. You've never seen this guy? On location number two. She gets plus two power. Let's see the next location. This guy, we'll this guy does like short form like sketch comedy on YouTube. He's actually pretty funny. Okay, and he's well, also a, a voice actor. That, that. And it's gone. Okay. <laughs> well, I have some powerful cards in my hand, so I Pro Z D is his name, I think. The next on YouTube. The big bar. Players cannot play four, five, or six cost cows. You gotta be. Also, if you don't play I love how these are just like printed out on like printer paper. This is this is a proper low budget Marvel Snap ad. They really were like, we can give you like we can give you a hundred bucks. What can you do for us? Still to come, we're gonna look at Immortals of Avium from EA Originals and Ascendant and the world premiere first look at chapter four, season three of Fortnite Wilds. There you go, for Fortnite the fans. Way to level up your gaming this summer. Compare top credit cards side by side with Nerd Wallet. Woo! Start maximizing your cash back rewards on everything from Wi-Fi to headsets. Now, Fortnite. here's a look at King Arthur Legends Rise, a new cross-platform UE5 game for mobile and PC, <sighs> a fantasy squad RPG adventure that is available to pre-register. If I didn't have to hear the words mobile, free-to-play, and MMO one more time in this stream, I would be a happy man. I think I'm going to hear it still a lot more times. <laughs> Wait, that, that was actually a six-year-old video? Oh, that's even worse. That's Champion Gundir. <laughs> that's Champion Gundir, but bad. <laughs> that's We Have Champion Gundir at home. <laughs> Oh, 
Hope you, hope you, me, 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 me. Yep, me. yep. That's what I'm saying. I. Okay. Did we not literally see that exact. I swear to God, we've seen this trailer already. Oh, uh, more mobile looking shit. Wayfinders. Oh, I've seen this game before. Fall, the gloom descended on Skyline. Is this an MMO? You I kind of thought this was like a like a Risk of Rain like price. looter shooter type game, but you fell and the world was broken. Remember who you were. But with like Valorant art style. <laughs> This world needs champions. Fuck, this is an MMO, isn't it? I don't know what it is. I genuinely don't know what it is. It doesn't look it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. Just that generic ass art style. Whoa, was that Fortnite of Duty? Yes, it was an MMO. Man. Why, I... Who is playing MMOs? Who is still playing MMOs in the year 2023? I, I don't understand. Bro, half the time me and my friends don't even play multiplayer games. We just all get on a Discord call and play different single player games concurrently. Who are MMOs for? <laughs> Whales, yeah. What did you say, guys? One more game? Good morning, scavenger. I'm not gonna make fun of Stellaris because it seems like a cool game, but it's just not. It's not my cup of tea. Asmin Gold, yeah, true. That looks all right. Captain's log, star date four three one five. Also, not really my cup of tea, but it looked decent. Our fleet is cautiously entering hostile Made territory. myself a snack. Anything remotely interesting? In Not state. really. <laughs> we are the board. Power your shields and surrender your ships. To culture. Why is Paradox an oh no? I thought Paradox was like decently well respected. But I also know nothing about like RTS or, or whatever. Oh, Star Trek. Hey, there's... Who hasn't dreamt of duplicating oneself in order to multitask? That looked this horrible. This hack and slash game with a tactical twist allows you to do just that. Brought to you from France, here's the world premiere review Ooh, France. of Lisbonga, Ooh. the time shift warrior, coming later okay, this year. Okay, hack and slash is at least a genre I'm into. <laughs> oh, interesting style. Wait a second. Goddess of time. Receive my light, Lisfunga. Let this power flow through you and fight again. Not Call of Duty. I'm here again. Wait, no, this could this could be hype. Oh, then they show the actual graphics and they look like crap. So generic. They look so generic. What the hell? Wait, that cinematic was so cool, and the actual game graphics are dog shit. I'm actually, I'm, I'm out. I, I don't know. I, I have nothing to say about this. Oh God, it's like a, it, it, it's like a mobile game too. No, it's on I Steam. That there are more. Bro, that looked like a mobile game. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The the 
art style at the beginning looked amazing. All right, next up is a brand new IP from Ascendant Studios, a single player, first person magic shooter called Immortals of Avium. It's fast and fluid. It's an FPS in a fantasy. Okay, that is an incredibly, that is incredibly, incredibly generic box art. But it's a first person shooter. Jack, and he joins us now. Hey, Darren. Hey, guys. Great to have you with How us. Doing? Thank you. This hey, is Patrick. such a, a cool game, super high production <laughs> value, spectacular gameplay. Uh, tell us about the guy you Can play we the see character. the gameplay? Right? Yes, I'm playing the main character, Jack, as seen behind me. He's yeah. a battle mage that controls all three forms of magic, triple threat. Uh, he's brash. He's funny. Yeah, I think they're just him. having him walk out well, to save uh, time. The, the gameplay, as we've seen, is just so f fast paced. What do you so mean, as we've seen? We haven't uh, seen uh, anything. The spells, the spell casting, and the magic. Um, what can you tell us? Is this game already like announced? It must be. Jack uh, comes in. He sort of becomes a battle mage, right? Yeah, he kind of comes from nothing. He's a. Uh, I guess they call him a street rat is what he was. Um, but he, uh, yeah, d during a uh, time of intense trauma. He the longer they talk the about this game, the more, the more I'm just uh, losing interest. Immortals, which is like the elite Navy SEAL squad of this world called Avium, and they are in the middle of an ever war. Oh, is it a magic. VR game? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm actually uh, I, great cast, fully Eugene disinterested. Corbin, lots of amazing actors in this incredible, really high production value game uh, that's coming out this summer. We don't have to wait long for it. Um, and I when they said Magic Shooter, I thought it might have been the game that it takes two people are working on oh are they working on a magic shooter that's kind of cool the game right? it's not vr yeah, okay um so this is a wild part of the game this trailer is going to be showing it's you, an uh, fps foot magic which has never been done before oh i was just making a comparison Dracula, gotcha is the top villain of this game um and trying to end the i mean I, I'm, I'm going uh, into this with like a with, with an open mind but the we're battling on top of a... I'm not going to lie anymore when I hear about a, a first-person shooter and, the, you know, they talk about the high production right, value and they bring out the main voice actor. I'm kind of like, eh. for PC, PS5, and That's not what I want out of my FPS games. I'm not going to lie. Let's see it. Sandrax literally pushed okay. us to the Let's see some gameplay. It goes immediately into not Everyone gameplay. Already is. And we're still losing. No, this does not look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, man. I'm sorry. Nothing about that looked fun. <laughs> that did not look good at all. <laughs> Welcome aboard, immortal. What's our bearing, sir? North by northeast. Five knots. Oh, the voice we'll acting is bad, too. This is, uh, is first-person forespoken. Just what the people wanted. That would be cool if it wasn't completely scripted. <laughs> Dude, who? What boomer ass in the games industry thinks that we want games like this? Who wants games like this? <laughs> I feel like the the popularity of the Marvel movies is finally catching up to the to the games industry after a few years and now nobody wants it. <laughs> like they really thought. <laughs> it just looks so slow. And I'm not saying slow-paced gameplay is inherently a bad thing. It just doesn't like there's no like Absolutely nothing exciting going on here. No, Dave, it's fast paced. You see, he just sprinted for 0.2 seconds. I mean, yeah, Ultra Kill is clearly going for something entirely different than this, but like. I mean, I feel I feel like the popularity of more fast paced shooters in recent years should speak for itself, right? Yeah, 60 FOV. I feel like if there weren't so many particle effects, what you would be noticing too is that the animations are fucking like... Almost non-existent. Like, when that enemy gets hit with that spell, it's like not reacting at all. Was that like... I want to be an immortal. It looks, it looks horrible. I war as one of you. You're what's called a triarch. The Pentasod has gifted you with the ability. 
to manifest all I'm a simple man. I like hit sounds. I don't even think these are like good hit sounds, though. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'm willing to be proven wrong. The games are not only animation. What are you? Are you talking to me? I, I I know that, but I think that game would look better if like anything like responded to what he was doing. You know, it's it was all particle cells, uh, particle cells, particle effects, and nothing else. Like I don't know, it just looked so wooden. Chapter four, season three, Wilds launches, and today Summer Game Fest is debuting the cinematic trailer to preview the season. The center of the island has collapsed, revealing a vast. It was all pre-rendered, yeah. With ancient secrets to discover. I don't know. Of course, there's a whole new battle pass lineup where you can unleash the power. Yes. I'm not talking about the game. Like, yeah, the animation is cool, but gives something that the player does. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with that for sure. Fortnite. Uh, I don't care about Fortnite. I don't care about Fortnite, but I can acknowledge that there's probably billions of people pogging over this right now. Holy shit, we gotta be getting close to the end of this, right? It's a good game. I think if it wasn't a good game, it would have it would have died at this point, right? Like. So I can acknowledge that there's something there, it's just not for me. Yeah, where is Goku? It's true, the main character of Fortnite. I don't even know what Fortnite is anymore when I see trailers like this. Hey, yo. I still don't care. Oh, they made him small. I love how it's like human-sized Optimus Prime. And I love how they even like acknowledged that in the trailer. They were like, there's big Optimus Prime, but have you seen small Optimus Prime? <laughs> Fortnite Wilds launches tomorrow. Jeff sounds so Finally, enthralled. Guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. Okay. And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. Please. What you're about to see is a Something world good. trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined the RPG it has, genre. It has to be Elden Ring. Characters and no? storytelling. And I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's Not most anticipated upcoming releases. The rumors were true. What rumors? We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster caused by a massive tornado which swept through sector zero, one, eight. Okay, and this two. is not what I thought. Amidst what is the this? Of the expressway, search and oh, it's Final Fantasy? In progress. <laughs> is, this, is this really it? Is this the last thing? Bro, oh, I don't care. I don't care. Just I don't care. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. There's no way he hyped up an announcement for a sequel to a remake like that. There's no way. FF7 more like FFS. What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... Thought it was Silk Song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literally nothing he said applied to Silk Song, but... As, far as, as soon as he said characters and storytelling, I was like, it's definitely not Elden Ring, god damn it. The life stream. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary... More Tifa SFM porn incoming. <laughs> According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. 
Yeah, am I am I cr this is a we fought him. This is a sequel Never to the remake, right? He's alive. But why come back now? Which is really strange to me, but I also don't understand most of Final Fantasy. I've played some of these old Final Fantasy games. I played 7, I played 8. I played 10 part 1. Think we will get up. I just don't like I don't really care. I don't care that much. Whoa. I just disconnected from chat. Am I still live? Hello, it's hello, welcome to the, the chat room. Latest and greatest, Elena. She may be new, but she's still a turk. Yeah, I randomly disconnect from my own chat sometimes, which is really weird. I don't know, man. Oh, so this is like, the, is, this is still Final Fantasy VII, it's just like part two? I didn't play the remake. And it's been since forever that I've played the original. Now the re the new ones and the remakes are are like hack and slash gameplay more so. I mean the gameplay actually looks a lot better. Very depths of your soul that she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Video. I know you guys are saying video froze, but like I can see when it freezes. <laughs> I, there's nothing I can do about it. It just stops for some reason. Do you know that I killed her? So, who is she? Yeah, this was really disappointing. This might have even been worse than last year. Let's see, though. Let's see. I mean... There you have it. That was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early 2024 to PlayStation 5. Ooh. Tomorrow, son, thank you so much. Oh, ch right. and that's also well, just that's coming to PlayStation 5. Summer Game Fest, our live showcase, but that is not the end of Summer Game Fest. Stay tuned this weekend for updates on many more games during SGF Play Yeah, Days. hopefully Again, some of the, the Sunday Angeles, panels have good Cyberpunk stuff. Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, as well as the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase Ooh. on Sunday. Right now, though, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, which celebrates the independent game culture with a number of new game reveals over the next hour. We'll see you this summer, later this summer, on August 22nd for Gamescom. I had no expectations, and I was still disappointed. And again in December when we come together here in Los Angeles to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see Am I crazy or, like... There, there shouldn't be mobile games at this thing. Yeah, that's definitely it, it. Okay. Wow, Jeff. Wow. What an event. <laughs> that was, that was fucking horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Literally the best thing that they showed was the first game. The, the Prince of Persia game. Am I crazy? I think like, I mean, Remnant was kind of hype. But I already knew that game was coming out. The only thing that was like even remotely hyped that was announced was uh was the goddamn Prince of Persia game. Oh, Lies of P, that's true. Lies of and Lies of P got a release date too. Was there literally anything else that was even remotely cool in there? Can we end off stream with something not disappointing as hell? I don't know. Is there anything that I could that I could show? I already watched the Blasphemous 2 trailer. I already watched the uh oh Yakuza, yeah, that's true. Just go play Turbo Overkill Episode 3. Nah, 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 nah. I gotta end stream, I think. I will play that, though. Final Fantasy 7, sobbing. <laughs> we found it. The one person excited for that. <laughs> I mean, it is, like, exciting. But at the same time, it's, uh, you know, he hyped it up so much for... For it to be that. Like, really? Everyone knew that was coming. I don't know. Just it acted like it was this earth-shattering announcement. It just fucking wasn't. Yeah, that was that was bad. I hope the other uh, events are better. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> My expectations were on the floor, and I'm still disappointed. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, 
I appreciate you sticking it out through that really mid ass event. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Nick Cage is funny. That's true. That's true.